Hey, what's up guys? Aiden here and today we have flipping Roy Nelson guys and it actually looks like something straight out of the game so awesome job on this Ewan Jar. Thank you for sharing it with the channel. So again guys if you haven't seen Ewan Jar's recent creative fire to the Manny Pacquiao one do go check that one out as well because that is one of the best calves to grace the channel and now we have another one I'd say even better we've got Roy Nelson looks absolutely spot on so thank you for sharing mate. All right, let's jump into it. So for his hair, we've gone for hair 45. For his eyebrows, we've got brows four. For his facial hair, facial hair 16. Body hair, body hair three. Interesting. So for his hair, everything's just dark brown. So for those of you who are new to MMA and don't know who Roy Nelson is, basically Roy Nelson is a Kung Fu fighter from sort of the Brock Lesnar era, a bit before Brock Lesnar. And uh, sort of when Shane Carwin was around as well, when Cain Velasquez was in his prime, Roy Nelson was there as well. And he was the guy to fight. Like Roy Nelson, you'd think he, on the surface he looks like a big tubby guy, but he had ridiculous amount of skill and stupid power in his rear overhand. And um, yeah, he was just a really good fighter. He had good jujitsu, and uh, just the main thing was he could just drop people and had a chin of granite. Uh, whether it's the chin or it's the beard, that is to be debated. But we're working off template 23. So copy what you see on the screen to get the same results as what Amon Jai has created for us. So yeah, I'm quite excited, man. This for Roy Nelson, I think I'm going to have to actually take online if I play online anytime soon. If I think, I don't know when this video, yeah, the update's probably out by now. So I will be playing the game after the update because we've got new AIs and stuff in as well that I need to test. And I think Roy Nelson is probably going to be my go-to fighter for that. Well impressed, man, well impressed. And interesting, like, I've actually seen some of the stuff that he's done. He's kind of... um giving me ideas for future calves like for example look he's used head size 13 and it's worked so well to crunch up the face so yeah man it's actually giving me ideas for fighters that i've created i was like oh i should have done that. i could have done this i could have done that so yeah it's cool man very cool and that one jar very talented creative fighter maker thank you for sharing this with us and this is roy big tubby nelson a big country nelson sorry <laughs> so yeah if you guys uh do want to become a mma fighter i wouldn't try and aim for this physique but we've seen DC with it we've seen Roy Nelson with it and you know it does work so yeah if you want to make Roy Nelson in like an alternative universe then I suggest going for one of these maybe maybe body 17 this is a body 18 Roy after lipo but uh, now nah, if you want the authentic Roy Nelson with a big belly the big belly brawler then body 25 so if you enjoyed the content, like, comment, share, subscribe, drop your suggestions below. Hopefully Alwyn Jar can grace us with some more awesome calves soon. We have uh, Undertaker on the way as well from him. So looking forward to that. All right then guys, uh, you know what? Where the hell is his tattoo? That is a good question. Hang on, I've forgotten his tattoo. Un momento, si vous plaît. Hang on, it's a mix of languages. So his tattoo is, let's have a look. It's actually done a little. Let's do it live. Let's do it live guys. Oh dang, tattoos are complicated. Right, all right, cool. So just follow me, follow me as I do it now. So first of all, we're gonna get the shapes and we're gonna go for shapes. Where is it at? Man, I got a, my, my um, alarm's going off in the background as well. <laughs> it's not the greatest, but okay. So first, what's he done? He's put the, yeah, okay. So giving a bit of shading around his eyes eye region same again for the other side not as much as i did though let's pull it back a bit all right next up we have the yep, shapes 181 shapes 181 we've done that one next we have angels and demons 8 so angels and demons where's that at? angels and demons 8 what's he done with that ah okay okay so i see what he's done all right cool so we're gonna use angels and demons 8 guys to do the facial hair Oh, this alarm is pissing me off now. All right, facial hair, Angel of Demons 8. Same thing on the other side as well. Basically, we're just gonna fill out his beard with the Angels and Demons. It's interesting, man, he's used, he's used more, all right, another Angel and Demons. We're gonna use Angel and Demons 1. Falling a bit behind him. We're gonna chuck that sort of just here. And then where's the other one? The other one is on the other side. So yeah, just basically we're just filling out his facial hair. 
just to give it a little bit of shape and uh, try and fill the gaps in. You know what I want to do? I'm just going to just, because my version come out a little bit differently than the two, I'm just going to just chop another one here. Yeah, that looks cool. And then we're going back to shapes down here. I'm going to drag it up to the top. So I just basically click the left stick in to make another copy of shapes 181. And uh, we're going to chuck that. Let me just have a look. Where's he done it? He's done it on... Okay, so we've done another layer on the eyes. All right. On each of the eyes. Underneath. Okay, so the next shapes. Yeah, so the same shapes, but it's going to be just under the eyelid. Just to give his eyes a little bit of uh, that droopy morning kind of look to it. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Adding some nice shade. I don't want to overdo it. I'll pull it back a little bit. All right, cool. So next up we have these half moon shapes, shapes 118. I'm just gonna have a look, where does this go? And uh, where is shapes 118? Go back up. Shapes 118, she's gonna go, ah, uh, okay. So he's done another layer, and that has gone under the eyelid. That's interesting. I've been using Clairvo font this whole time for this bit, but fair enough, mate. Yeah, see, that's added some nice little depth to his eyes, isn't it? All right, let me not do, I've overdone it a bit. Let me pull it back a little bit. There we go. And you, if I pull it back, I mean, what I'm doing is I'm on the D-pad, I'm pressing left, and that is basically allowing me to blend it in more. So next up, we have Animals 20. That phone alarm is not gonna stop, is it, until I stop this video. Sorry, guys, if you can't hear it, then that's great. Just pretend it's not there if you can hear it. Next, we've got Animals 20. So Roy Nelson, as you can see, his beard is just actually made of animals. That is his secret. That is his secret all along. Why do you think he's got such a chin? Because you're fucking punching a tiger, that's why. Fucking Roy Nelson. So he's gonna make uh, copies of that. Go across and just like give his beard a little bit of, a little bit of zazz to it. And then I think he's done the same on the other side. Oh, okay. All right, he's done it on the sideburns as well. So obviously, once you see it, you can't unsee it, but you know, if I can flip it like that, there we go. And then uh, same again on the other side to connect sideburns. See if I can, yeah, right about there. That's good, isn't it? All right, cool. And looks like he's got body tattoos as well. So we're just gonna get to that in a sec. Let me just see if I've got all the animals. So he's got two more animals, it looks like. So how many has he got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven lots of animals. So where's he done the other ones? Uh, Okay, yeah, and on the other side of the beard as well. Same again, but on the other side of the beard. Like, like so. And if I drag it out a bit, put it back a bit. There you go. So it's kind of giving him a rougher beard. Just fix up this one a little bit. There you go. All right, cool. So that's the beard done. And yeah, like I said, the sideburns are... Uh, on each side with a lion. And then the last bit we're gonna go into now. Now that the animals are done. Animals are all happy. Oh, okay, and we've got one, we've got one um going across the facial hair here as well. Wow, the lion actually works really well. I'm gonna blend it a little bit using the left stick. Blend it in a little bit more. That looks great. That's absolutely great. So on to the next bit, we are looking at the right arm and it looks like we have a combination of tattoos. Let me just get, what is he done? Okay, he's just taking a picture. All right, cool, so I need to find these tattoos. All right, one sec. It's, uh, we're gonna start with a circle shape. It's the miscellaneous 14. I'm gonna chuck that here, resize it. That's the bottom layer. Next layer up from that is miscellaneous six. Again, resize that, shape it on top like so. And then we're looking at using some letters. We are gonna use the letters that are over on, well, give me a sec to find it. What letters have you used, buddy? It's got some interesting swirly looking ones. Uh, maybe these? Mm, is it these by the numbers? Nope. Gosh dang it. You'd say why didn't you do this first, but the thing is I didn't even 
I don't really pay attention to tattoos as much as the other stuff. And now I've found it anyway, so that's why. So yeah, this bit is looking quite funky. So we're gonna start off with the S shape down here. And resize it. I'm gonna flip it upside down. Uh, hold it left on the D-pad to blend it in. And I think the layer under it, we need to blend in some more as well. I'll make a copy of that. And then uh, just resize it again. Basically, we have to get these to fit. It's gonna be four shapes and we need to get all of them to fit into the box. Next one is the E shape. Is it E or is it a nine? Looks like it might be a nine. Yep, it's a nine and then we're gonna Oh, we don't need to rotate it. It's already rotated. But if it's not rotated on yours, basically you've got to just press square and get it to go this side. You know what? He's actually blended it in a bit more. So let's blend these in a bit more. And then the last one, it looks like, is an 8. So make another copy by pressing the left stick in. And we've got an 8 over here. You guys might be able to do a slightly better job than I have here, but. Damn it, tattoos are so difficult. So I'm not, not a tattoo artist, man. I'm not a graffiti artist, I'm a, I'm a sculptor. Right, let's just bring that back a bit. And just get all the letters to fit and just make it look good, make it blend nicely. And then, yeah, that's a wrap for Roy Nelson. So I'm just gonna have a quick look. What you can do as well, if you wanna check his face tattoos, go back to head, zoom in and just see. If it was too dark, then you can tone it back a bit. I feel like mine is a tiny bit too dark, so I'm gonna just tone it back now. And I'm gonna do that by just jumping in, find the tattoo, press left on the D-pad once, go to the other one, press left on the D-pad once. And now I'll just lighten it a tiny bit. And that's how you can check, because in, in the post fight, for example, he's gonna zoom into his face and you just wanna make sure that the shading is not too dark. And yeah, that's that's a wrap for Roy Nelson, and you know what? I've got the tattoos right. Hopefully, I've done justice to your tattoos, buddy. They are hard, and that's why the calf looks so good. To be honest, it's very detailed. So, good job on that. All right, cool. So, yeah, drop drop suggestions below. Let's try and get Owen Jar to make us a nice Mayweather or some other iconic fighters. Um, let's just see what happens anyway. And uh, yeah, thanks for sharing what you've shared with us so far, dude. Appreciate it. And so do the people on the channel. I don't know if you've seen the Manny Pacquiao, but there was loads of positive comments on that one. So hopefully we can get the same on this one and get some more content coming to the channel from A-W-N-J-A-H. All right then, guys. If you enjoyed the content, like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Aiden. And uh, should, we do, should we do one little animation? Is there a belly rub one? Is he going to rub his belly for us? Let's find out. Come on, Roy. Come on. All right, I'm, just gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to look at the screen. I'm just going to pick a random one. We'll pick this one. Chomp, chomp, perfect. Yeah, there we go. Roy Nelson, he's hungry. He's got the jacare, po jacare pose. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Wow, 13 minutes, nice. See you later.